Awesome. And Leanne knows this. Uh, the last time we, we made this connection, I was over in Miami and I'm actually home in California now. So I get to have all the comforts of home, like my giant inflatable unicorn. <laughs> I'm happy to see after a year of being away from home. <laughs> And friends too, as you're as you're getting situated, yeah, I the, the unicorn. I know it's a little bit silly, right? Um, oh gosh, I mean, I have all kinds of silly stuff. I even have a box of crackers right next to me, so you never know what's gonna, what's going to show up. But um, I wanted to also let you know, as we're getting ready to get started. Definitely have another tab open. Um, we are going to be digging in to Flipgrid. So if you have a mobile device and you wanna download the Flipgrid app, it is completely free. You can download the free Flipgrid app on mobile, iOS, Android, or you're welcome to head to flipgrid.com. If you don't have an account today, no worries. You're going to be joining in as a participant to um, some play-based learning adventures I have ready for us. But definitely feel free to, to have it open. Um, you, yeah, you probably saw me in something on Facebook, um, whether it was for Flipgrid. Uh, I love to share and I'm a teacher helping teachers. So as we get started, I'll share a little bit about my role with Flipgrid, but um, unless it was a Melissa McCarthy movie, that really wasn't me, but people think I look like her, so. <laughs> All right, and Leanne too, whenever you, um, Whenever, I'm gonna make sure that you can greet everybody too as we're getting going, waiting a few minutes as folks join in. Um, in the chat, I'm curious, where are you all tuning in from? If you wanna just say hello or what, what, where you're tuning in from, perhaps what grade you teach um, or a content area or your area of focus, I'd love to know a little bit more about you all as well. Unicorns and llamas, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I agree, Vicky. Why the llamas? I'm curious. <laughs> I, um, for my, yeah, cause they're chill, I love it. Um, I went to Peru for my 40th birthday. It's always been a dream to be able to visit Machu Picchu in real life. And so it was a special, a very special trip for me. And I got to see llamas close up and it was super fun. I met a very cool llama named Pablo Picasso. And that was a fun memory I now have. All right, so as friends are coming on, if you do want to use that chat feature, um, let us know where you're checking in from or feel free to let us know uh, what grade or content area you teach. Um, high school chemistry, awesome. I remember my AP chem class in high school extremely well. Um, and not for a good reason, Anika, I hope this doesn't make you bummed. The teacher was not very, um, it was just a very disengaged teacher. And I memorized all of the posters on the classroom walls and turned it into a song and used to spend that class period just repeating the song in my head. So I'm glad you're here. It's super awesome to, to know the areas that people teach and that they're interested in continuing to grow as professionals and learn new tools. So I'm so excited. Secondary, French and Spanish. I love this. High school, Trinidad and Tobago. Thank you. Awesome. High school, French. I do not speak any French except wee oui, wee, oui, which is my excited way to say yes, yes. <laughs> Thanks for the laugh, Leanne. I can see you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love this. Okay, so cool. Secondary and high school, a lot of, um, we call it in the States, high school. 
Um, very, very cool. So Leanne, I'm not sure if you want to, if we want to roll in and get started. Uh, we're a few minutes in and as folks continue to join, that's awesome. Yeah, I think we can go ahead. I'm recording it and they will get a copy of it as well. So Yay. <laughs> we can go cool. ahead and start. Awesome. Well, I have to say thank you to Leanne as we get started. We got connected months ago and just became friends. That's what we do as educators, connected in various different social platforms. But um, I know with the 21st Century Educators Facebook group and new connections, I truly believe in a better together mindset. So it's really exciting to be able to be back for another session. And this time we are playing to learn and pushing all the buttons as we explore Flipgrid for all. So my name is Anne Cosma, not Melissa McCarthy, but I'm a big fan of hers. Um, I spent 17 years in public education in Southern California. I was a primary teacher in the first grade, so ages five, six, um, sometimes had a, a, up to seven years old. And then I became a coach, um, a specialist in technology innovation in my district. And I was working with about 800 teachers from the kindergarten through eighth grade level. So ages five through 13, 14 years old. And two and a half years ago, I joined Team Flipgrid full time as one of the educator innovation leads. And the way I describe my position is as a teacher helping teachers. So I'm really excited to be here to take a new dive and a play-based experience into Flipgrid together. And I'm curious as you're listening in, if you're working, if you're listening, if you have this on in the distance, that's awesome. I just wanna say hello to all of you and I'm so excited to get connected. Please feel free to use that Zoom group chat. I'm curious on a scale of one to five, what your understanding of Flipgrid is. If you're brand new, you've heard of it, you're just getting started, feel free to share a one. If you feel like, oh, hey, I know this, I use this, I'd say I'm a five. You're welcome to put in your response um, and that'll help us learn a little bit. True story, I love when people are brand new because I was brand new to a tool and I didn't understand Flipgrid at first. And I asked my friends, how does this work? I, what do I need to know? So awesome. Okay, cool. I love seeing this. We're going to have a range of learners. So my goal today with the next bit of time we have together is do a very quick overview. But I believe as mentioned in playing to learn. So we're going to push buttons together. And this is an opportunity for you to create and learn as we go in together. So anywhere from one to five, this is awesome. And thanks for those responses. Um, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. And what you're also going to see is now the, um, the, the Flipgrid website, right? And we're going to, let me see, I need to hover over and find the, where's my chat? Here we go. Now I can see the chat and I'm going to move it down as needed. All right, friends, on the website, what you see now. Awesome. Thanks, Shelly. I'm glad that you're here. I'm glad you all are here. Um, you're looking at simply flipgrid.com. And if you are looking for the one site that has access to everything, simply navigate in another tab to flipgrid.com. And those of you who are brand new to it today, please know Flipgrid is 100% free. Every feature, every aspect you have access to for free. Um, Microsoft acquired Flipgrid two and a half years ago, and they said, we'd love everybody to have the opportunity to use this. It doesn't matter if you work in a, in a Microsoft school district or a Google school district, it doesn't matter. Everybody has access to it. And so if you are new and you want to get started, you can simply create your account today. It's free. You just click on that button. But what I want to point out on the screen is for those of you who are new, if you're looking for a little bit of information, feel free to scroll down. There is additional information, a quick overview of what Flipgrid is. It's a social learning 
community. You as the educator create the account. You as the educator create a discussion prompt and you ask your students to share their voice by participating. And that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna go in together, but um, please know we do have resources available from getting started guides to a blog, to a help center. And I'm actually just gonna click on the help center real quick and show you what it looks like. We have all kinds of resources available from a getting started to ideas, tips and tricks and best practices. But I'm gonna show you what one resource looks like because I love it. It's bite size information. There's a minute and a half video and a quick step by step with a visual of how easy it is to submit a video. So if you need resources or if you're learning community resources, feel free to simply head to flipgrid.com or help.flipgrid.com and you'll find that website available. But friends, what I'm actually going to do, I know we're back at flipgrid.com. I'm going to scroll right back to the top and again show you, you notice in the top right corner, there's a help center. But what I'm going to do is simply click into that educator login button and I'm going to go into my account so that we can start exploring how to get this started and how to create a, how to create a topic and how to get your community involved and adding their own response. When you are on this page, as soon as you log into your account, you're gonna notice a few things across the top. Different features like discussion, discovery, and a few other things, but notice I'm in this first section called discussion. And to me, this is home base. This is where everything is when you create or when you get started. And you have different things. Topics are individual discussions and groups are your groups of topics. So if you look at the screen, you notice I have a group called 21st Century Educators. That is the logo from our Facebook group. That's probably where a lot of us got connected. And I'm gonna just click into that and show you, this is my group. And it's what I think of my classroom. So think of your group as your classroom. Think of your group as period one Spanish. Think of it as period two chemistry. Think of it as period three French. You can have as many groups as you want and you begin to add topics. So for those of you who mentioned you're at a one, you're brand new to this, in discussion, you can get started by adding a single topic if you wish. I personally love to get started by creating a group. I usually, that's just how I do it. So I already clicked that button that said create a group. You simply give it a name. If you want to, you can customize a join code and then choose how your students are going to join school email, which is the majority of you, I would assume, are going to click this. So I'm just going to call this one sample. I'm not going to join the or change the join code. Student email or student username. If your students use a Google or Microsoft school email domain, that's what you'll choose. If you work with younger students who do not have a school email domain, you could choose the student username but I'm just gonna show you how simple this is real quick. All you have to do is add in whatever domain your district uses. So I simply added Flipgrid. If you're in mycsdschools.org, you would add that domain. If your students have a domain that starts with S or STU, be sure to add that as well. And you can add multiple if teachers and students have a different domain or simply add whatever your email domain is. It's whatever comes after the at symbol, all right? So I'm actually gonna close out of this because I already created the account called 21st Century Educators. And notice 
I now need to start by adding a topic. I don't have any topics in there. So I wanted to walk you through this step really quick and show how simple a topic can be. And then we're gonna have our first hands-on play experience. So when I click that add a topic button, this is what it looks like to begin to add a topic. So my title is simply going to be say hello. And I'm just going to say in 30 seconds or less, please introduce yourself, right? And I could make this a lot more detailed if I want. I could add an emoji that says, share an interesting fact about yourself, right? I could add another emoji if I want to. Let's see, I love using emojis. So maybe I'm gonna do a unicorn now and say, share what grade or content you teach, right? And you can make your topic prompt whatever you want it to be. Think of this as the information or the, the guiding directions of how you want your students to respond. You can make it fancy and notice it says in 30 seconds or less, so I'm gonna make that bold. You have up to 1000 characters for your topic prompt. And then you determine a recording time and recording time can be anywhere from 15 seconds to 10 minutes. So choose accordingly, whatever matches your learning goal or outcome, I chose 30 seconds. I wanna point out that there is a captioning option available for closed captions. If you do not want captions, you can turn them off. And this topic, you'll notice that toggle is set to on. I have this group set up as a public topic, meaning I can invite anybody in the world to join and participate. So by default, public things are moderated, which means you preview them before they become active in your space. If you wanna turn it off, you can simply turn it off. And I'm going to today, cause I'm only sharing this with you here in our Zoom group. So this, could be useful if you're doing a formative assessment, if you're doing a virtual help desk, if you're using this and want to keep videos private or you want to preview them in advance, definitely feel free to use topic moderation, but please know for public groups, it's defaulted on. Okay, I have a title, a prompt, a recording time, and now you'll notice different media options. Well, I'm gonna zoom in on this a little bit more so you can see. You have different ways that you can engage your students, whether it's a video or uploading a video if you created it in a different tool, adding from YouTube or Vimeo, uploading an image, a Giphy or even emojis, and even all of these web-based resources. But I'm simply going to add an emoji and let's type in hello. And I'm gonna go ahead and search for this and choose, um, oh, Mrs. Doubtfire here, right? That's a little bit silly. Or maybe I can scroll down and just choose this one that says hello. And that's it, friends. I'm gonna go ahead and create this topic. You'll notice now I share it with my community and that can be as simple as clicking copy and coming down here and I just pasted it into our chat. So now anybody can click on that link in our chat and it'll take you to this topic. But as an educator, you also have additional ways you can share via QR code, grabbing the embed code, sharing directly to Microsoft Teams or Google Classroom, or even if you're using a tool like Remind or simply copy and paste. And friends, this is where our play-based experience begins to come in because what I'm going to do now actually is stop my video and I'm going to come into the Flipgrid experience and show you what it looks like. So you, you'll still hear me talking, but I shared that link with you in the chat, but I also want to share now, you'll notice here I am back in my group and you see I have one topic created. I customized the join code for this group to the phrase Facebook friends. So that's a shortcut to my group. 
And if I were to go to flipgrid.com, at the top of the screen, you notice the box that says enter a join code. Facebook, friends, and when I go there, here I am in my group, and it took me right to that first topic. And I now have the ability to record a response. And I'd love for you to take the next five minutes, and we're gonna probably be quick about it and limit it to five minutes. And I'm gonna turn my camera off. Let's see right here, stop video. But I'm going to click on that big red record button. Notice you join with your email account. So I'm gonna join from my personal email account and simply come in and hey, now I am in my Flipgrid camera and I have two screens going on, but I'm sharing to an external monitor, which is why I'm looking up at the screen. Friends, you see now me in the Flipgrid camera, and this is what you're going to do. But for those of you who are new, I want to point out what the buttons are. Those of you who feel like you're a three, four, or five, and you know a little bit about Flipgrid, feel free to disable your camera here in Zoom and go into Flipgrid, either using the link in the chat or using our group code as Flipgrid friends and go in and add your own response. Remember, let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and close out of this and show you here is our topic. In 30 seconds or less, please introduce yourself. Share an interesting fact and share what grade or content area you teach. So here I am again, and I'm going to go ahead and push the buttons and show you what they are. You notice up here that topic card, that's the prompt. That reminds you if you want to see what the topic prompt is, you can click on that button. The sticky note simply acts like a cue card. And here we go. Let me slide this back over. You can move this around. You can add a note. And that's exactly what it is. It's a place for you to add your notes. So if you want them on screen, you definitely have a place to record. You also have different options, whether you upload a clip or whether you mirror a video. And this works well, especially if you're doing on-screen teaching or instruction. You notice you can change the orientation of the frame so that you can mirror the video helps with on-screen text, also interviews, character point of views, all kinds of things, right? You can mute the audio or even use the built-in screen recorder. And those are just options you have within the Flipgrid camera. Additionally, we have various effects. So different filters, and I'm gonna go quickly because I wanna give you that play to learn experience. But notice I'm just coming in and pushing buttons. So friends who are new, notice you even have pixel and bricks. If you're doing a mystery reader or you have a student that's camera shy, you have these different filters to change the theme and tone. You also have frames, emojis, text, drawing, the board feature and the photo feature. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to demonstrate how I set this up. But those of you who want to who I'm also going to set a timer for five minutes right now, and you're going to be able to play, push buttons and have some fun. Leanne too, if you want to. All right, so I started the timer friends. Go in and answer that first topic simply by saying hello. This is a chance for you to have some fun. Remember, you'll start to see those responses populate from other people. You're welcome to go in and view. If you don't want to be on camera, friends, that's fine. You can choose a silly emoji and cover your face up if you don't want to be on screen. This is a very creative way for people to make it personal, but still remain off the screen, right? So let's have some fun and play to push buttons. I'm gonna continue in the next four minutes and walk through the camera for anybody who wants to stick with me to learn more about the Flipgrid camera. The rest of you feel free to use that link, either the one in the chat that you click on or Leanne dropped in that phrase, Facebook friends. And that makes it 
easier to remember, more unique, custom for our group. Friends, I mentioned all of these options, but all of these effects are creative ways for you or your students and participants to personalize their response on Flipgrid. Tons of creative possibilities with different frames as well. Oh, I kind of like this one. It makes it a little bit misty feeling. So maybe it's a spooky reaction and a creative writing story for Halloween. I love this breaking news frame. You can layer a text box on top to customize this. And again, I love to just click on that magic wand and come into all of these creative options. I'm gonna stick with this and maybe make it a little bit spooky. So whether you click on that magic wand or arrow back, you're going to see all of these creative opportunities. So maybe I add a bat now. That's a little bit cute and silly. But notice all of these other buttons, I can, ooh, you can hardly tell his eyes shift. But if I wanted to, I could duplicate and I could add multiple bats to speed up my creative process, right? I can change the size, I can move them around. All of these elements are customizable based on you and your needs. Again, within the emojis option, you have all kinds of things. Apparently I have a bit of a lag, mine are not loading right now. Oh, here we go. Um, I now, I'm not sure why it's not loading, but you have all kinds of options um, that would include custom sticker packs. So sticker packs like American Sign Language, speech bubbles. I'm going to actually take a screenshot of this because uh, that's not loading. I don't know if it's my Wi-Fi here at home, um, but you should have all kinds of sticker options. So let's go ahead and add a palm tree. We have a lot of palm trees in Southern California, and I'm going to go ahead and do that and actually push this arrow to go all the way to the back. And now that is layered in the very back of the screen. And I am going to move my little ghost down. So friends, tons of creative possibilities, adding text on screen as well. So let's say you want to add your own text, but you want to customize it by getting rid of the background. So many creative possibilities. This could be a paragraph on screen, high academic vocabulary on screen, endless possibilities. There's also a drawing tool and an annotating tool you can do right on the screen, as well as a board feature. And I love this. Imagine you go split screen, teaching resource video, you on camera, academic content. Let's see, is this way anything else on screen. And all of these creative features are just built into the Flipgrid camera and you would choose to use them however you wish. I'm gonna go no board today and show you one more option is a custom photo upload. So you could choose to add your own custom sticker. I'm gonna simply arrow back and click that red record button because I have about 30 seconds to go. Hey everybody, my name is Anne and I'm so excited you're here to play and push buttons together. Bye, see ya out there. All right, so mine was just a quick video. I click next if I want hey to review everybody, it. My name if I want to add more, I can add another segment, but I'm simply going to click next. And we have about four seconds left. So friends, if you are done playing to push buttons, Go ahead and finish up your videos. Notice my selfie is automatically created from the first frame on my video. But I'm just gonna click take a selfie and slide my name over and maybe get rid of that palm tree, right? And I'm just gonna click, there it is. There's my selfie because I wanted to change it. And as it creates, what you'll see now is a few options for your selfie or changing a display name. And I'm simply going to click submit. And this will upload and then it'll become visible on the screen. Uh, if you want, you have a few options to immediately grab the link, download that video or the selfie, but I'm just gonna click complete and check it out. 
there it is on screen. Awesome, LaToya is, has already added a response and I've added my response as well. So what you'll see as students share, all of their videos will begin to populate on this screen. Now, before I go back and look at this from the educator side, I wanna point out a button that you might have particular interest in. It's this blue button right here called the Immersive Reader. And the Immersive Reader is a powerful tool fully embedded throughout Flipgrid. What it is, is an accessibility tool providing visual supports for anybody who wants to use it. You can change the voice speed, the voice selection, increase or decrease the speed. You also have the ability to change the text size, increase or decrease spacing if needed, change the font, contrast between themes for visibility, a light theme, a dark theme. You also can have grammar options to include syllabication or identify parts of speech. This is helpful for folks, whether they're English learners or emerging readers or somebody wants that support. This is just built into the immersive reader. Another powerful tool is line focusing. So you could use this if needed, simply by selecting these options within the immersive reader. There's a picture dictionary that's available. And I want to point out the translation tool. There are over 70 languages represented in the immersive reader to translate your topic prompt. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's see, I get this, I get asked this a lot in Florida if, if folks have access to Haitian Creole and absolutely. So I'm gonna translate that document and show, I just translated and I can toggle between the original and Haitian Creole, but this is, it's just embedded throughout, um, throughout the entire Flipgrid experience whenever you click on the immersive reader. And here's an example of um, some things, right? Here's the picture dictionary that just shows a great visual support whether or not you want it simply by clicking on that blue button. So friends, anybody who wants to, you have the, oh, there are some more, Anthony and Makeda, thank you. Check this out. We're playing, we're pushing buttons. Anybody who wants to feel free to add your response. But what I'm going to do is toggle back to my educator um, dashboard tab. And here you see my 21st century educators group. And here's my topic, say hello. And now I see all of these videos that are being added. And I'm just gonna go into mine and click on this as an individual student and show you, I have the ability to interact with it from my educator account in a few ways. I can add a public comment. I can record a video as a comment, but I also have the ability to provide feedback as an educator private video feedback, use the embedded rubric tool, or write private written feedback with a few options for sharing. I also have the ability to edit a little bit of information as needed. And if I had that captions enabled, I would have the ability to edit my captions as well. So friends, this is a really cool thing. And I even have additional features, let's say, I want to hide all of those responses. I've just hidden them all at once, but I don't want to hide them. I want to activate them and make sure we all can see them if desired. Now, friends, I have another play-based experience I would love to have you participate in, but what I'm going to do real quick, uh, let me see. I'm going to click on this discovery tab. And you're going to see that we are now in the Flipgrid discovery library. And let me hover over here because I'm going to turn my video back on. Hi, everybody. Okay, so we are now in the Flipgrid discovery library. And this is one of my favorite 
things to share. Um, in the group chat, give me like a, yes, I've heard of this or no, this is brand new. Let me know if you're familiar with discovery. I mentioned it's one of my favorite things to share because it literally is a database of treasures. Awesome. Okay. So brand new, a database of ready to use content built into Flipgrid. This is where you find topics that fellow educators have shared. You also have topics that featured partners are sharing. And again, remember, this is all free. Janessa, I love it. You've heard of it, but you've not explored it. This is another great time. Friends, if you want to and you have a Flipgrid account, simply you access it by clicking right on that discovery tab in your own account. So across the top, you'll notice a few things. There's over 30,000 resources in here, but I'm going to share with you how to find content or how to personalize the content for your grade or content area, right? So you can see incredible partners like Minecraft Education, um, the Langston League, the Metropolitan Museum of Art made by Dyslexia, Wonderopolis. These are just some spotlights across the top. But we do have other features like the topic of the day. So this literally could just be a quick, you know, question starter, conversation starter you use if you want. We also have a great wonder of the day from our, our partners, Wonderopolis. But if you notice these partners, when you view all, take a moment and explore this. Okay, awesome. I see Anthony and Ayana. I love that. I love that the Discovery Library is new for so many of you. Oh my gosh. Okay. So genially, World War II National Museum, Adobe, the Equal Justice Initiative, Breakout EDU, Epic, Lego Education, Nearpod, Amplifier, the Pacer Center, the Met, all of these, all of these resources are available for you to use if you want. So I'm going to click on Epic, for example and show you what a partner page looks like. You can see some of their most popular topics if they have a collection around a theme or an idea, but you can start to scroll through and see different resources. So I love this. This one's called The Power of Stories. I'm simply going to click on it and show that here is an example when the narrator of Dreamers and her son arrive in the US, they're faced with all of these new experiences. How does a story change your life? You can look and see what the prompt is, access the book on their website, and if you want to, save it to a collection or add that topic to your community and use it right away. So all of these resources are simply available for you if you want to use them. I love that some of the partners are creating specific collections, like Bonsi shares schedules, organizers, getting to know one another. This is awesome. Social and emotional learning activities. This is something that all of us as educators are very aware of, especially as we face a shift in ed education due to a global health pandemic. Mindfulness, expressing your feelings, talking about how I feel, practicing mindfulness. So you can click into these resources and if you want to, simply click add topic choose how to use it as an individual topic or a group. Let's say I add it to a group and I'm going to add it to 21st century educators. And I'm simply taking that topic from them, bringing it in to my community. I can edit as needed. You'll notice that title, prompt, recording time. And you see some of these other additional features do you want to add attachments? Do you want to schedule it for a future date? Do you want to receive email notifications? Do you want to disable the camera effects and only let them take a selfie style video? Do you want to display the video count, turn on or tar turn off likes? These are just ways you can customize your topics or even create a custom rubric criteria. So, 
you're not getting any other educators videos. You're simply getting their topic template and bringing it into your community. So I just added that to our group. You'll see it available now as a new topic in 21st century educators. But I mentioned another play-based experience. So I want to dig back into discovery because we're going to find another topic to use together. Not only can you go to the partners, you can find trending topics. These are trending topics from fellow educators around the world. You also have a made just for me section, which is really cool based on the grade or content or subject you identified when you create your account. Flipgrid will suggest topics for you to use. And um, this is the one we're gonna use. It's called what's in your bag, but I wanna show show you how else you can use discovery to personalize the topics that you bring into your community. Um, my team and I, we curate these collections. So if you're looking for, um, you know, support for back to school or conversation starters, social emotional learning, we have a, a playlist to help you facilitate conversations on race, equity, and justice. Um, we just had a family engagement panel last night, um, went live with Microsoft EDU and Skype in the classroom today for a roll doll classroom experience, accessibility, um, the No Voice Too Small book club. So you have all of these options to come in and find more. And you see these are literally just topic conversation starters that you can use if you want to. So I mentioned we're gonna use this what's in your bag topic, but before we do that, I'm going to show you one more thing. Aside from all of these ways you can explore discovery, we have inspiring creators, but you also can come down and filter based on your subject as well as your audience. And so tons of possibilities. What if we chose um, right different sciences and we chose high school and that begins to filter for you and notice there's 453 topics and oh, I don't wanna search through 453. Here's a little trick I love to use. When you click on that word engagement, you can filter to find the most used and the most engaged topics, right? So for example, here's one, DNA structure, biology with macromolecules, what is chemistry? That's been used 105 times. So my, my high school chem teacher that's here, check this topic example out. What is chemistry to you? What do you consider a chemical? A great baseline, get to know you, check in, base assessment, right? tons and tons and tons of possibilities. And I love to say this is how we work smarter, not harder and come in and find what people are sharing, right? So let's come back to this what's in your bag topic. Because my teammate Jess Boyce wrote this topic, check this out. It has been used almost 8,500 times, which is crazy, right? But check this out. If you had to put five items in a bag that best showcased who you are, what would they be? Describe or show and tell us why this represents you. Notice that immersive icon reader right there, fully embedded throughout. Let's take this topic and let's add it to our 21st century educators group. I'm gonna go ahead and click next. And now I have this. I'm not going to edit anything. I'm going to leave it at a minute, 30 seconds. I'm not going to change any information. So all I need to do is click update topic. And friends, I can share this individual topic. Remember, I can copy the link. This link will take you directly to this topic. But I'm just going to show you on the educator end. Here are my three topics. Notice this one, I can move, but because it is in the top of the list, when I come back to my Facebook friends group, that's the topic that's immediately available for us.
So we have five minutes now. It is 1.45. I'm gonna turn on a song. I'm gonna turn my camera off and I'm gonna go in and answer this question as well. I'd love for you to play push buttons and participate in this topic, what's in your bag. And I'm actually gonna copy the link and I'll paste it in the chat as well. I'm gonna set another five minute timer just so that it's a fun play-based experience. We're counting down and friends have fun, push some buttons and let us know if you put five items in a backpack to describe you, what would they be? Challenge, let's see if those emojis are showing up and use emojis in your response, okay? You'll still hear me talking, but I'm gonna disable my camera and go in on Flipgrid, all right? Here we go. Oh my, so I'm looking around too, wondering what in the world I would put in my own response. Here we go, camera loading. Well, let's see if those emojis show up. There they all are. Friends, if you didn't see them when they loaded before, not only do you have your, your recents, you have an emoji scroll, you can choose various people. Additionally, there are accessories. It's just a fun way to personalize your response. A new musical notes sticker pack, which is gorgeous addition to celebrate music and the arts. I love these reactions. This is where you find a math sticker pack, onomatopoeia stickers, social justice stickers, a gorgeous um, conversation starters, and I mentioned that ASL sticker pack, so a, a full custom sign language pack, or you can do a general search too. So let's see if I search backpack, maybe it's gonna be under bag, right? Is it in there? Hmm, a bag of money, hmm. So maybe not, what would I put in mine? Well, if it describes me, Flipgrid, I work for Flipgrid, check this out, I'm gonna move this around and three minutes and, Maybe you want to mute me because, right, you don't want me in the back of your, uh, in your video, so I'm choosing my five items. And I'm passionate about student voice. I would put in a little indicator of that, something unique to me, mm, coffee, right? Coffee. There it is. I definitely would have coffee with me in my backpack. Another silly thing you're gonna learn about me, I would definitely have mm, a snack and I absolutely love shrimp, barbecue shrimp, grilled shrimp, shrimp in a salad, shrimp on the barbecue, shrimp on a skewer, all the ways. So that, and I'm going to add in, let's see, a map. Oops, didn't spell the word map correctly. There it is. Five items to describe me. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do my quick response. Hey everybody, my name is Anne. And if I had to put, put five items in a backpack, let's see, let's start with the Flipgrid logo. I work for Flipgrid. I usually have Flipgrid stickers somewhere on me when I'm traveling to share. So you definitely will see something related to Flipgrid. Uh, on that note, student voice. That's my why, that's my passion. I love to share, celebrate, showcase student voice as an educator, helping fellow educators. So I probably have something related, a little teeny tiny microphone, a disco ball to celebrate student voice. A cup of coffee, if it's not in my hand, it would be in a little canteen in my backpack. Mm, shrimp, I love to get powered by shrimp, but it would be some sort of snack or something. Probably a protein bar if I'm on the road traveling, or I don't know, we'll see. And a map, a map to represent my love of connecting with others, my love of working with educators around the world, and my love of adventure and travel when it's safe to travel. So those are my five items. Nice to meet you. All right, and hey everybody, I'm simply gonna submit this and I'm gonna take a new selfie, drag my little items into the screen, resize them. Let's get that shrimp in there. Right? So tons of possibilities for creating, for celebrating, for customizing this. I love to let people know if this can be as simple or as sophisticated as you want it to be, right? So here we go. Silly selfie, confirm. 
and I'm going to go ahead and submit that. We've got about 30 seconds left on this play to learn experience. Yeah, that's okay, Ayana. This is playing. So what we're doing now is simply adding in responses having fun, pushing buttons. Since this is a new tool, Flipgrid is new for so many of you. It's just a chance for you to explore and play and see how it works. Maybe it's helpful to see me go through the process or push some buttons together. Hey, there's the timer. And oops, I clicked repeat, but I wanna click cancel. And I'm gonna click complete and check this out. This topic is moderated. So this is what it looks like from a student or participant side saying your video is hidden until approved by the educator. So I'm simply going to come back to my topic and show Ayana, Leanne, hey, I love this. Let me go back because what I'm trying to do is click all of them together and use this actions tab to activate all of them at once. I love this. And when we come in back to this, let me click refresh, you'll see that there are the responses now on the grid. This is awesome. Thanks, friend. Yay, Leanne, shout out to your daughter for submitting. Tell her thank you. So friends, anybody who wants to can continue to add to this and um, your you know, participation is basically the clue for me that I'm gonna go ahead and activate them. We are the only ones on planet earth that know the code to get into here. So just because I have this set up as public does not mean it's gonna be shared with everyone around the world. It's for our private Zoom PD experience right now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get my camera back on and make sure that we have um, access to see, whoop, let me stop sharing, here we go, um, the chat. And if anybody wants to start asking any questions or what can I clarify, if folks want to continue to explore and play and add to this topic, this topic is available for you to continue to play with. But I'm so excited. I know we have less than 10 minutes together in this session, but I wanted to be able to address any questions, clarify resources, and celebrate opportunities with you to use Flipgrid in a new way to empower students in your community. So friends, feel free to come off of mute and ask a question, um, hop back in. And if you want, um, yeah, feel free. Let me know the questions. Or to Leanne, if you want to, um, if you see the Q&A, um, I'm looking to see so, here. Ayana has a question. Yeah. Ayana, go ahead. And Hi, good afternoon. You'll hear me? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Anne. Um, I, I had taken off the audio because I was doing my recordings. Yeah. So I know you were sharing some resources, right? Um, that other, some other videos that people did. Can you, did you say if you could edit those or you just have to use them as they are? You the, absolutely the can edit them. Yeah, so you still see my screen um, with, uh, when I go into discovery, right? You're seeing that? Yes. So if I wanted to use, again, let's see, here's another topic that I made. This is one just called All About Me. And when I choose to use somebody else's topic and when I add it, I'm gonna just use this one as an individual topic right now. It takes me right into that topic editor and I can edit and customize this however I need it to. So you're not changing their topic, you're taking their template and making it yours. So you can absolutely edit this however you want and personalize it for your community. Then you would simply, whatever updates you make, just be sure to click update topic and it saves it, right? Oh, this one, I know why. So it saves it right into your own community. Um, and all of the edits that you make will personalize it then for you. That's a great question, thank you. Thanks, Anne. Of course. Uh, Makeda, is the, I'm not sure if that's your pronunciation of your name. Feel free to please unmute and let me know. Hi, um, good day. I, I, I have an idea for a, an assignment I'd like to give a class. 
Okay. It's for them to do a recording of um what what is their what is their choice of career. Oh, cool. For form for form twos, but it's a hundred and something girls. So I wanted to know if there's um like a maximum capacity in terms of how many videos. Um, I guess you can get or accept. Yeah, so one example, and let's see, I'm gonna just show you this real quick. I'm using a um, Chrome and Edge browsers have just a shortcut. So you see on the screen, um, I'm using a join code called certified, which takes you to the Flipgrid level one certified. This currently has 14,000 responses on it. So you, there is no limit. Flipgrid is unlimited, unlimited groups, unlimited topics, unlimited responses. And if you ever find a limit, please let us know. But this one, for example, has 14,000 people who have added a response to it. So if you have a hundred girls, I would just ask you, what best practices might you employ? Set a time limit. If you want them to talk about a future career for one minute, three minutes, 10 minutes, what time frame do you as the educator listening in have for listening to all of those responses? There's value in them listening to each other's responses. So I might just say one best practice is set your time frame, your video recording length accordingly for 100 responses, right? Um, I went into discovery and searched careers. So here are a few examples you see future career, career exploration, on the career path, career day, um, STEM careers, future career, people sharing topic examples. So again, I love to click on that one that says engagement and perhaps it filters in a way that makes sense. Perhaps that didn't make sense. I'm going to come back and find, um, you know, this one says careers. Let's come back to careers. Anyways, you can take and use a topic or have that as some inspiration for how you set up yours if you want to do it from scratch. That's a great question. Thank you very much. Of course, of course. I'm going to go Vicky ahead. Vicky has a question. Yeah. Okay. Hi, everybody. Um, and I have a question. We, our institutions have started using MS Teams. And okay. um, I know that Flipgrid has, uh, you can add it directly into Teams if, yes. you, if you've created a topic and you want to add it into your channel, your, your team, right? Yes. yes. Um, now, when I tried to do it a couple of nights ago, it was not recognizing the okay. domain address of our institution. Um, so what, is it that our administrator has to activate something? I, I don't know why, because it kept saying that um, the uh, it was not recognizing the okay. the the edu.tt. Um, okay. And uh, so I, I wanted to know if it would be easier for them to just use their Gmail with it, or should I, or is it that the administrator needs to to um, activate something, I, I don't know. So one thing too that could happen um, to double check if your students have a different domain and that has access. Um, what I pointed out right here, and I'm gonna go through it, in the top corner of your Flipgrid account, you all have access to our help center. So I clicked on help and I clicked on teams and you see all of these results with teams. So I'm gonna click on the one that says Microsoft Teams integration and make sure that you know where this is so you can double check that you set it up oh, correctly. Right. There's a Teams integration PDF, let's see if that'll open up quickly, um, that might help you just with, did you get the tab added correctly? Um, permission okay. from your IT admin to use the Flipgrid app. If you do not see Flipgrid, your IT admin needs to approve it and list Flipgrid. So right, I think that was the problem. Yeah, so this article would help. Oops, I just zoomed out way too much. Um, feel free in that help center, just click and type in Teams and it'll show right there exactly how to make sure it's set up correctly. 
And if you find that you still have problems, you can let me know or use the contact support link at the bottom of our help center. And our support team will make sure to help you get, get it set up or your IT department. Okay, thank you. Of course, you're welcome. All right, friends, it's been super fun to be able to spend some time playing to learn and push buttons. I'm gonna come back to this very first one that says, say hello, and here it is. We've got all of our friends, here we go, I'm having a lag on there, but friends who are pushing buttons and playing to learn, thank you. You start to see the selfies, the smiles, all of these represent somebody somewhere sharing their voice, and to me, that's the beauty of Flipgrid. It's flexible, it's creative, it can be as simple or as sophisticated as you want it to be. You have resources in discovery. I, as an educator, love getting to say it's completely free, but it's been an absolute blast getting to share with you today. And Leanne, I wanna invite you to just come back in too and let us know any last minute questions or just say thanks to this incredible group of friends who came out to play today. Yes, are you all seeing me? Yes, yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I just wanted to say thank you once again, Anne, for always an exciting session. And you know, although I've been using Flipgrid for a while, every time you share, I learned something new. So uh, I am really excited to actually go try out some of those activities that you shared with us. And I'm sure many of the persons who are here with us would like to probably say the same, that they have learned something new and they're going to try it out. And of course, I mean, one of the good things about Flipgrid is it covers all the subject areas and it can be used with any age group. So. Yeah, yeah. And friends too, my first name is Anne. I mean, you see it at the bottom of the screen, Anne at flipgrid.com. You see us on social. I would encourage you if you're on Twitter, if you're, if you're looking to get connected, um, there's an incredible community, 21st century educators. Feel free to tag me in anything or let us know if you have questions or how we can support um, and celebrate as you continue to empower your learning community. Um, Leanne, thank you again for inviting me. I love connecting with you. Someday I'm going to be there in real life and we'll yes. do a fun <laughs> event. We can all gather together. But on behalf of Team Flipgrid, thank you. I mean, from one teacher to another, thank you all for doing what you're doing to empower your community. So you inspire us every day and it's an absolute treat to get to come and share with you. Thank you very much. And I know you have another session coming up that you need to go to. So <laughs> thank you very much. And thank you very much. So we're seeing people awesome. looking forward to using Flipgrid. So I love this. I love yes. this. So very cool. Well, everybody, thank you. And we'll see you out there. Please do take care and don't hesitate to reach out. I'm here to help. So thank you very much. And and I'm pretty sure we're going to have another session because I know Flipgrid is Yay. always doing something new. So awesome. Okay, look friends, forward to that. Bye. <laughs> and thank you very much, everyone, for coming. Right. So just before you all leave, just remember we have our exercise sessions coming up. I'm putting in a plug again. Right. We're keeping healthy, and we have some wonderful sessions coming up for November as well. We have Dr. Marcus Jackson, who is going to be sharing with us leading during a pandemic. And y'all could go Google him. He has a, a book out um, called 10 Daily Essentials for Principals. So he is actually somebody who does a lot of internationals um, speaking about leadership in education. So I'm looking forward to seeing you all in November. So all the best. Thank you for coming. Bye.